Okay, good morning folks and welcome to Clare Glens in County Tipperary. We're here this morning in, uh, in an area called the Clare Glens. Um, river is flowing there behind me very dark down here and for a summer's morning it's quite cool as well too uh, a gang of us some of the mad gang have come down paddy and chris have gone up with noel and uh, they're taking shots yours truly is standing here next to this particular sign um, what are we looking for rapids some 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 small waterfalls uh, lots of greenery around here as you can see at the moment um, hopefully it'll brighten up a little bit even though we don't the idea of coming today was to make sure that it wasn't too bright we don't want too strong a light on some of the water we're looking for definition within the water um, where is Clare Glens it's um, very much west Tipperary very close to the Limerick border not far from Glenstall Abbey and not a massive div uh, distance either from Killaloo and the let's say the southern tip of Loch Derg. That's roughly where we are. It's not easy to get to, I can tell you. Certainly we needed a sat nav this morning. So look, we're hoping to get some shots. We'll see how it goes. And I'll talk to you in a minute, somewhere closer to the river. Take two. Hi guys. Um, well, I'm back at the Clare Glens. I'm slightly further up the road. Um, reason I'm back here is because I wasn't happy with some of the footage five days ago. It's not just five days, it seems to be a different season. So, welcome to the vlog and hopefully this time it will work out. I will use most of the footage, I'll use most of the shots that I took the last day, but I just wanted to get back here. Um, where I actually started uh, my particular vlog uh, is just down the, hill, down the hill there and in the gates. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, and so I've come to the first particular waterfall uh, after you come into the, uh, the actual Clare Glens itself. Um, as you can see, we've got dappled light here at the moment. Um, I'm going to show you a clip, a video clip of last Sunday, five days ago. It feels like a different season, uh, certainly for temperatures at least, at least 10 to 12 degrees less it was that day and certainly an awful lot darker. So have a look at this. Okay, we've come to um, one of the first uh, waterfalls or rapid areas um, on the Clare Glens. Um, so as you can see, there's kind of blurred filming there. I was shooting at 30 frames per second. 
My issue, I think, was I didn't have automatic ISO. I felt I had sufficient ISO, but obviously I hadn't. It was so dark within this. It's almost like a cavern-like area, such are the uh, thickness of the leaves and the amount of trees that are around us, as you can see yourself there. We've got all different types of ivies hanging from uh, the trees above. Um, and so the shots, uh, we all noticed, weren't great either. So I decided I'd come back here today to see, can I rectify this? And it went from one extreme to the other. Now with the sun coming in behind you, it's unobstructed predominantly, and it's shining right down, right on that particular rock, straight down up the river. And um, I think I'm lucky enough that there is enough leaves to actually protect it from blowing out some of the, um, the rapids above when I was taking the actual shots earlier that particular white patch which is just between the end of the rapids and the start of this kind of like pond lake area here in front of the waterfall was actually within the rapids and I'm sure it was blowing it out so what I'm going to do now is go back and take more shots it is quite difficult uh, uh, to take one you're quite a distance from it the last day there was an awful lot more water we tried to cross across there not a chance so much water was coming across when i arrived along today i wore the very fashionable wellies with the shorts yes a fashion statement for sure um yeah milan watch out anyway um i tried to get across got all the way across with two tripods a recording tripod and one for the actual camera itself and just at the neck i don't know if you can see it just here i wasn't happy because the footing and my uh, standing very slippy underwater there and i was afraid do you know what two cameras in hand one slip and you could be looking at quite an amount of thousands of euros worth of uh, loss so i said i wasn't going to take a chance trying to get onto this particular island which i think that particular rock calling it an island it almost looks like one it's so big um, that particular rock there would probably be the ideal area to shoot straight in on this uh, waterfall. It's not an easy waterfall. Of all the waterfalls that are here, I think it's the most difficult to get. It would appear to be the easiest, but you're battling with either darkness or, as I am at the moment, too strong a light. And some patches are going to be extremely bright. Some patches are going to be quite dark. We'll see how it goes. I'm using a 24 105 lens to bring me in quite close i'm trying to today to try and jump over that particular it's almost like a mini weir here in front of us because the rocks and the sun are the sun is catching the rocks on it and um, the last day it was lovely because there was an awful lot of water there and effectively it was almost like a line of white as the water was breaking coming up over those rocks um, but the rest of it was very dark for instance you have a shoulder there where the trees are standing on it and that is lovely lit up today and it's just perfect i think whereas the last day was extremely dark altogether and um, a challenging location to shoot no doubt and um, i will be probably i have it in i have a polarizer on see to take out the brightness there again polarizer will darken the darker areas and obviously help out in the brighter areas um, I'll try and work on that in post to try and take the darkness out of the uh, 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 out of the darker areas to move on uh, it, i've also got it in as i said 24 105 i'm shooting at about f11 and finally i'm shooting at about one eighth of a second i tried a, a half a second and i went all the way down and it's got blurred blurred less blurred less blurred less blurred eventually one eighth i tried one tenth but it just looks too sparse to be honest so that's how fast the water is traveling up there i hope i've been of some help uh, and just to remember if you are a vlogger and it is quite dark make sure you put on the auto iso and leave the camera adjust itself thanks a million talk to you in a minute
Uh, very slippy here, lads, along the actual sides of the, the river. Uh, obviously a lot more water in the winter time, but the rocks, lots of um, moss and dampness and slippy surfaces. So um, Chris is in prime position here for this particular waterfall. It's been raining for the last few days, so lots of water coming out. We are finding it difficult to get decent shots here today, mainly uh, because it's so dark. Um, we're pumping up the ISO big time. Um, we're also, um, we don't need polarizers. We're only just, sorry, we don't need ND filters. We're using polarizers. But the one thing I would say is, and I'll show it to you in a while, Chris is shooting down low so that he's kind of, his foreground is going to have more of an effect. Um, he's using these rocks which are in a line between him and the actual um, uh, waterfall itself as a lead-in line. They've also got some lovely kind of uh, foam around them which will also draw the eye into the waterfall. But again, we're probably shooting here at maybe one-eighth, one-tenth of a second. One-eighth, very uh, uh, slowest shutter speed. We could even be going up to one fifteenth of a second, try and make sure that nothing is blown out and that we're getting some kind of definition in that particular waterfall. Chris, what are you shooting at at the moment? At the moment, I'm on uh, F11, one tenth. Yeah. And I is about 40 at the moment. 40? 640. 640, okay. ISO at 640, that's fairly high. And he's shooting at one tenth. So. I'm going to step in there when Chris is finished. He's been there for about two hours now. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Don't fall into the river. Anyway, I'll, I'll get my time. It'll probably be dark by the time I get to take a shot.
Okay, folks, that's it from the Clare Glens vlog. A very interesting place indeed. Um, two uh, sessions here, one very dark, and as you can see, one behind me, extremely bright. Um, what I would say is that if you want to hit all of the different um, waterfalls here, and you are in a group, there are two car parks, one which is on the main road side at the front, the entrance area, and there's another one uh, quite a distance in as well. Park one car there and walk to the other one because as a round trip it's a hell of a walk if you're bringing heavy gear and tripods and cameras etc. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope you're keeping well. If you like what you saw please give me a like because uh, it certainly helps develop the channel and if you haven't subscribed well why not do so uh, by pressing that subscribe button and remember to press the bell as well so that you get reminded of future adventures. Speaking of future adventures, myself and Darren are hopefully off in the next couple of weeks for, um, we're taking in three or four different countries uh, and it'll take probably between two and two and a half weeks to complete. So uh, that's one to look forward to. We'll be vlogging as we go along and hopefully with a bit of humor as well to shown in with a few sketches. So thank you very much for joining me. As I've said already, I hope you're keeping well and I'll talk to you soon. Catch you in the next one.